Want me to open up or? Okay, I'll open up. It's fine. All right, Shalom. First and foremost, like give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakhakwadash. The blinds of the apostles, the great millstone, peace, salutations to you, Sasakim, pushing this word, sincerely, the truth, and charity. Um, brothers from Great Millstone, Chicago. Lord Williams, uh, be a quick F.I. lesson, pretty much on um, the title is um, Sweet Music to the Ears, the Downfall of E, man. You know, because, you know, scripture tells you that um, um, the, the one thing about Sirach, it says, um, you know, is, is um, what does it say? Seven things I judge in my heart. Mm -hmm. And, and um, Matthew, let's, let me start off yeah. with that, you know, so I won't butcher mm -hmm. it, you know, because guess what? Esau Edom, he rejoiced. I downfall, so it's the same way, man. Yeah. We rejoice in his downfall because there's a lot going on right now, you know. And the Yahusha told disciples the, the signs to look for, the you know, for you pretty much to know that the kingdom of heaven is nigh. And man, it's a lot going on. Oh yeah. And we seeing, you know, that the the Lord is um, you know um, t um um, putting the end. You know, to uh, Esau Edom's uh, rulership and mm -hmm. his kingdom, man. Um, this is um, Sirach, Ecclesiastes, and Apocrypha uh, 25 and 7. It says, There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy. Ooh. And in the tenth, I will utter with my tongue. A man that has joy in his children, which mm -hmm. that's going to be in the kingdom. We don't have mm -hmm. joy in our children now, man. Definitely not. We definitely don't have it now, man. You know, Jake, <laughs> don't you know? Jake um, don't even want to have children, you know, yeah. which is, is supposed to be joyful to have have children, man. But not in this wicked kingdom, man. You know, they supposed to um, this uh, alphabet lifestyle. You know, he, just using that for example, man. You know, you, you know, don't even have time to uh, s uh, spend with them. Yeah, they're basically um, given to the school system or the fool system, as we yeah, say. Yeah. And be indoctrinated. Right. Yep. Then um, let's say if you have a falling out with uh, with you know you, the so-called woman you know that you're with that you had the child with, she basically could take him as prisoner because that's really what it is. Because mm -hmm. really that's your property, yeah. that's stolen property, you know. Or you know something could happen, right? And uh, you know let's say a, you know really intense situation occurs. All of a sudden, you and your woman can have your child taken away from you. Yeah. All right, and now they're basically uh, detained. It was a DCFS. Yeah. All right, in the foster care. Well, you know. It, well, weirdo can, can oh, yeah. be a parent. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You you just had uh, this one guy. He was a get this man, 24 year old, that had um all these uh, uh, uh prior records, adopted a, a a 16 year old girl, and he was pimping her out, man. Damn. This is what occurs in America. Damn. You know. And that's why it's sweet music to the ears that how shot yeah how about shimmy how shot the heavenly father's making moves man mm -hmm. and um taking down this dude's kingdom man because once this kingdom is gone we have to worry it's gonna be a bad dream man we have to worry about this weird old perverse activity anymore that's going on here it's, it gets yeah. worse and worse man yeah that's why no, i think it's the book of uh psalms is it 144 i believe it's 144 where it says Rid me out of the hand of strange children. Yeah. All right. God. You know, we're praying that the Lord, you know, uh, delivers us and, you know, uh, 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 saves us, all right, from these evil and strange people. God. All right. Because they do, you know, all sorts of abominable works. That's it. All right. So that's why it's a, when we see, you know, uh, you know, particular signs, okay, we, we get happy. Yeah. Like I was telling the elder, you out there in uh Mississippi, you know that tornado, you know, um you know went through that state and there's about like 40, I think they said about 40 people died. Mm -hmm. Like I was telling him right now we're in a forest preserve and I was saying basically this whole forest preserve, right? Mm -hmm. Let's say if they they were all filled with homes and all that they they they, they, they were all destroyed. That that's how big, you know, at least from what I saw that's how many homes were, you know, just completely demolished. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful, though. God. All right. And I'll say this. The majority of them were, you know, Edomites, man. Yeah. Getting messed up. That's good. Mm -hmm. All right. That's one thing. You got the uh, uh, more nations uh, adding unto the brick system. Yeah. Okay. Which is now starting to see uh, Esau's kingdom being divided, as it says, what, in Matthew 24. Mm -hmm. 
yeah. or a kingdom divided shall not stand. I think that's Matthew 24, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, Matthew's uh, 12. Or two, saying, saying to be divided against saying, how should they stand? Yep, you know, you, you uh, Elder Malcolm told us that, that Jamaica's joining BRICS, mm -hmm. Mexico uh, 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 applied, mm -hmm. uh, um, Algeria, mm -hmm. okay? And they're they not <laughs> dealing with the, the other country, not dealing with the yeah. do dollar anymore. Yeah, the, uh, the Saudis are, are <coughs> switching it to the, uh, the, the Chinese yuan instead of the U.S. petrodollar mm -hmm. with their, uh, uh, with their uh, um, trade money. That, that that's showing us that the Lord is bringing this place down. And there's other more things as well. Mm -hmm. All right. That's it, brother. So it says, um, this um, Sirach 25 7, there be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy. Mm -hmm. And the tenth um, I will utter with my tongue. A man that have joy his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemies. And we, we're living to see it right now, man. You know, oh yeah, this devil's falling, man. You know, and Lord is waking up his elect. Mm -hmm. And in the process, the Lord is bringing this damn devil down, man. That's right. You know, now these curses are reversing and, and being put upon this goddamn devil, man. That's and right. it's, it's a beautiful thing, man. Yeah, even uh, today, you had I believe it was in um, was in Nashville, Tennessee. Can, can you look real quick on the group? Me, I put it in the um. Oh the, shit! I, oh yeah, yeah, it's a lot. You, you it's got your. Good. You got no phone. Nah. Oh, okay. But uh, I believe it was Nashville, Tennessee, if I'm not mistaken. You had um, an eat of my woman. All right. Now this was probably you know pre-planned, you know some psyop you know situation. Mm -hmm. But point being, some eat of my woman went to um, her uh, uh, former grade school, and shot the place up and killed three kids. Mm. You know. All right, and that's showing you a hey, that the, the, these curses are falling upon Esau, man. Mm -hmm. You know, because Jake doesn't really go to private schools. You know that the majority of them kids were Edomites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure, like, the, those three victims were more than likely, you know, Esau. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful, man. Mm -hmm. All right, she, she, she was a bug out, you know. Then uh, you had Biden talk about, you know, hey, we got to um, keep uh, 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 um, keep moving forward with this assault ban, uh, uh, assault rifle ban. <laughs> Monkey, you yeah. know. Yeah. All right. Because it goes, it, what's going to happen eventually is they're going to uh, try to take these guns. And then once all these people, you know, uh, um, they they have lack of guns, what, what's Esau going to do with, with the government? They're going to move in with them troops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you, 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 you American citizens, you law-abiding citizens are now going to be, all right, detained. And, and you're going to be put into concentration camps. Mm -hmm. Your local Walmart's going to be your new home. And, I, and you know, they closed down a lot of Walmarts. Mm-hmm. You know, they closed down a lot of Walmarts, man. And what's, what's going on in you Jake's neighborhood? They closed down a lot of stores, a lot of restaurants. Mm -hmm. We just, uh, I was just uh, was shot there this past Saturday. And it was that goddamn McDonald's on um, 95th by the rail line. They shut that one down. Oh, yeah, because they got shot up. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> but you know, East, you know, it's Esau, he's shutting down a lot of shit <laughs> in you Jake's neighborhood. So, like, say, like you said, when you come in that great raft, you know, it'll be nothing in your neighborhood, man. And guess what? You thinking you're going to go somewhere to get some food? You're going to be stuck in your own neighborhood where the food desert and shit is. And they're going to have checkpoints where you can't even leave out your damn neighborhood. Because the scripted talk about that, man. Mm -hmm. You know, you're going to set up checkpoints. You're going to have troops, you know. And they'll stay up all fucking night, man. Oh, yeah. They got shifts for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or they'll, <laughs> they'll be like, uh, all right, I'll, I'll uh, take over. You can take, get a yep. little nappy in. Mm -hmm. So they'll be up all goddamn day all night, man, watching. Yep. And you're going to be stuck, man. You know? <laughs> See? And this four absurd right here. Jake is right over here. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of trees over here, you know, and he saw chopped them all down. You couldn't even see through this four absurd. I remember when I was little, you know, but now he chopped all these damn trees, you know. It's barely anything here. Barely, it's like more field than anything. Mm-hmm. Which they could use this as a camp, just put fences mm. around, you know. Or, you know, and two, you know, Esau, when he comes in that great raft, you Jake's ain't gonna have nowhere to hide. You, you can't run to the forest. Because yep. <laughs> they, they'll see your ass, man. You can't hide in, in the trees, you know. And, and Spirit, you said that, because um, we did a video on that. Because the reason why Esau hasn't made his move yet, because he's. Uh, Passing legislation, like I said, for the guns. So when he comes, 
and um and that great wrath he move on you people there'll be no casualties on his end he can mm -hmm. just come in and dominate you won't have nothing to protect yourself with that's why in uh daniel's the uh i think it's the eighth chapter salaki brothers i don't have my my scripts on me this what's was, it called uh i think daniel 8 and 24 okay yeah forgive me brothers i uh this was like impromptu this is random um but uh the scriptures say by peace he shall de destroy many God, I'll check by, by his policies I think it's 8 and 24. Yeah, 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 I, you know? think, yeah I think it is, Daniel. Yeah, I you think know? you're right. And he's going to put these things into play, all right? And he's going to come down with that wrath. And he's going to destroy these people, man. Mm -hmm. He's going to say that these particular laws are for your benefit, for your safety. But in reality, it's to destroy you. That's it. For example, the assault ban rifle situation, you know? Or that assault rifle ban, Salakia. You know, I think it's eight and twenty-four by yeah. his policy. Yeah. Um. Yep. Right there. Twenty-four. Yeah, yeah. This is uh, Daniel eight and twenty-four. It says, and by and his power shall be mighty, mm -hmm. but not by his own power. Yeah, because ultimately the Lord gave him that power. Mm -hmm. The earth is given to the hands of the wicked. That's it. He gave uh, uh, uh or Isaac gave Esau the, the, the blessing, the, the blessing of the sword. You know. Mm -hmm. And he shall destroy wonderfully. Mm, shall destroy wonderfully. Mm -hmm. And shall prosper and yep. practice and shall destroy the mighty and the holy people. Yep, so a lot of uh, Israelites are going to die, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, because that's the main target. Are you Israelites, you Jakes out there, you so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans. Mm -hmm. All right. Esau, you know, the so-called white man's main target are the tribes. Yep. You know, now he, he's, he wants everybody, you know. Uh, uh, you know, um, under control. He wants everything, you know, locked down. But hey, you, you, Jake's are the main target because he wants that blessing. Yeah, that's ultimately what it boils down to. You mm -hmm. know. Um, so it says, um, verse twenty-five, and through his policy. Yeah, which are laws. Mm -hmm. Okay, that are put into place. Mm -hmm. Also, he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand, mm -hmm. and he shall magnify himself in his heart. His mind, and by peace shall destroy many. Yep, by peace shall destroy many. And like I made that statement, he's gonna push these particular laws, okay? You know, on the people, and say it's for your benefits, for your safety. It's gonna be progressive, and then next thing you know, it's gonna be biting you in the in the, in the butt. You know what I mean? Yeah. Which, which, <laughs> which, scripture don't call him a serpent for a reason. Mm -hmm. That's what he is, man. A goddamn serpent, man. Yep. More subtle. Yeah. You know? Than the other beast, as it says in Genesis 3. That's it. That reminds me that um, me and the brother, I, uh, me and the brother, he was with us. He now uh, long, no longer mustard. We did a video on the Twilight Zone. Hmm. I forget what the hell it was called. Uh, I forget the episode, but <laughs> he was in some um, house or dungeon. That's what it looked like. I'm trying to recall, you know, Putting to remember how the episode went, but uh, pretty much they had the, the devil locked up mm. in the cell, and he was telling this guy, "No, no, whatever you do, do not let this guy out. It's a damn cell, man." So this devil, he's all coming, all humble, talk to him, talk to the guy peacefully to try to get him to let him out the damn cell. You know, towards the end of so he he eventually gave in, and let him out. <laughs> he was let him out. He let him out. This dude just fucking, you know, pushed him, then transformed to the goddamn devil. The horns mm. came out and every goddamn thing. <laughs> yeah, that's what's gonna, what Esau's going to do. He's going to show you his true form or, yeah. uh, you know, his true purpose. Uh -huh. He's going to show you what he's really about very soon. What does the scripture say? It reminded me of, uh, was it Psalms 55 where it says his words were smoother than butter, yeah. but war was in his heart. That's it. You know? This guy is all about warfare. That's it. All about bloodshed. The scriptures say that in Ezekiel. Mm -hmm. You know, about how he love it. He loves blood. Yeah. You know? We call him, he did this video, he's an American psychopath. Oh, yeah, yeah, yep. <laughs> yeah, you just talking about the blessing. You know, here it is. This dude uh, sold his birthright. So, with, with his birthright, had, how he go, how he, he worded. He despised it. He despised, despised the birthright. The, but then when Jacob gets it, he's mad as hell. And then he wants it. <laughs> that's an example of somebody. Childish. Yeah, that's childish, man. And, yeah. I was, and 
ain't, ain't right in the fucking mind. Man. Yeah, that, that's what a child does. Yeah, you know they don't touch a toy, right? The whole time, and then another kid decides to play with it. And all of a sudden, he's mad. Now he's mad that the kid touched that particular toy. Yeah, that's Esau, man. He's just he's just mad. He's just a bug out. He's childish. That's why the scriptures say, "Woe uh, 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 unto you who's." Um, Who's king as a child? Mm -hmm. That's in the book of Ecclesiastes. Yeah, yeah. And Esau is just a big kid. That's it. All right. That that's in the rulership seat. Yeah. All that's, right. That's Throwing it. a temper tantrum. Yeah. What what uh, I'm telling you um uh, uh that remind me too that Job thirty he said uh, pretty much scribes him as a child. Mm. I th think that's how. Let me grab it real quick. I think we finished with this. Uh, uh -huh. Daniel eight twenty five. It said through uh, through his uh, policy. He should also cause craft to prosper, prosper in his mm -hmm. hand, and he shall magnify himself in his heart, and by peace shall destroy many. He shall also stand up yep. against the prince of princes, but he shall be broken without hands. Yep, so eventually he's going to try to fight um, Yahweh Shai mm -hmm. and the angels. I know you bring it out a lot. Was it in the Book of Revelation? Yeah, he should, he should not. He should prevail not. Yep, it talks about how um, he should, uh, basically uh, Satan is gonna uh, and his angels are gonna fight uh, against uh, Michael and his uh, angels. Yeah, yeah, Michael, the archangel, and his angels. Mm -hmm. You know, all right. Mm -hmm. There's gonna be a clash, man. I told you that in uh, was it Second Ezra's uh, or uh, yeah, Second Ezra's thirteen. Mm -hmm. Okay. How the Lord's actually gonna put the, <laughs> the force these nations to fight them? Oh yeah, yeah he'll yeah. put it in their minds to fight them, even though they're gonna be scared. Mm -hmm. uh, but point being though is, hey, Esau is gonna be the, that uh, he's gonna be leading everything, man. He's gonna be in the forefront, mm -hmm. and he's he's literally gonna try to uh, uh, fight Yahweh Shai, and he's gonna fail miserably. Yeah, which it tells oh, right, but he should be broken without hand. Mm -hmm. There you go, right yep. there. <laughs> so that that script proves he's gonna fail. The Revelation twelve. 12 and um, 7 to 8 Say he should prevail or not So <laughs> You know He ain't gonna stand a chance But yeah. That shows you the Lord That shows you the, the Lord controls the damn devil He gonna put Spear him to fight Just so the Lord Can flex And, and annihilate his ass man Yep Good <laughs> You know <laughs> So Um yeah, yeah, that's the one I think. Uh, Job thirty eight said they are children of fools, mm. yeah, children of base men. This is talking about Esau, man. Yep. You know, like you say he's a big child, man. You know, children of fools, base men. Um, they were well, fouler than earth. This Esau to the T, man. Yeah. Yeah, say so he, he's a child. He's foolish, mm -hmm. right? With that being said, that's why this earth is in such of in such a terrible condition. That's why it says in Isaiah the 24th chapter that what the earth is languishing. It's, you know, the people are mourning, mm -hmm. right? And it says in Wisdom of Solomon 6, the, it, it, um, with the multitude of the wise is the welfare of the world. Meaning that the earth is going to be in a great condition once those wise men are set in, in power. Who are, you know, once they're, you know, uh, 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 raised up. Mm -hmm. And that's the elect, man. Mm -hmm. Lord willing, we're a part of that number. And when we, when, Lord willing, we get this earth, you know, uh, cleaned up, you know, uh, for, of course, first and foremost, you know, starting with Yahweh Shai, you know, Yahweh Shai, all right, being the king of king, lords of lords, mm -hmm. then King David, mm -hmm. the rest of the uh, uh, the apostles, mm -hmm. and then whoever, you know, is in that, you know, uh, 144,000, you know, number, mm -hmm. all right? Lord will, we are those men that get this earth, you know, b b back to its um, flourishing, you know, uh, 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 um, state man yeah okay because right now this this earth is doing real bad real yeah. bad and we were talking about it before um the camera started rolling and all of a sudden everywhere you look there's there's a derailment chemicals spilling in the water yeah and you know uh, on the land mm -hmm. you know you know oil uh this that you know mm -hmm. that's all done by design because yeah, yeah. really, uh, I think it was Elder Malcolm that said it, if I'm not mistaken. He said, this is a uh, uh, modern-day chemical warfare. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you can't drink the water. Uh, you can't shower in it. All right? Now your food's getting uh, polluted. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because he uh, has a plan to uh, re reduce the population. That's yep. part of his fucking plan, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think somebody mentioned, this, another brother mentioned, saying that uh, that venom juice. Yeah. If you brothers know what I'm saying, right? That venom juice didn't knock enough, you know, uh, knock out. enough, knock enough people out, man. So they're like, you know what? 
We, we got to get uh, uh, speed up the process. Mm-hmm. And you know that just faded away since that didn't work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 it's gone, man. Yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, you know, <laughs> this dude's a damn devil, man. Uh, but, then, but then he always has it in his back card. If he needs to pull it out, here it oh, is. Oh, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Go to plan B, plan C, plan D. Fucking cornball. Yeah. This is uh, Revelation 11, 18. It say, cause yeah, like I say he's doing it by design because he comes that spirit. If I can't have it, nobody can, man. Mm -hmm. You know, that's how this devil operates, man. This red dog. This is uh, Revelation 11, 18. It says, and the nation's angry and thy wrath has come. And the time is dead that they should be judged. We're talking about you people that's dead, you know, uh, you know, um, in a dead state of mind, yeah, man. Spiritually, spiritually spirit. dead, man. Yep. You know? So it's time for your judgment to come, man. Mm-hmm. All right. You living pleasurely according to the flesh your whole goddamn life, man. Yeah. <laughs> Being the damn demon, man. So it says, um, in the time of the dead that they should be judged, and that thou shouldst give reward unto thy servants, the prophets. Mm. We, we, Lord willing, we get that reward, man, for, for serving him to the best of our ability, man. Yep. You know, it says, um, and to the saints, and to them, man, that's the saints out of the Israelites, and to them that fear thy name, small and great. And this is how you know it's talking because Esau don't fear the Lord, man. No. At all, man. All right. He mocks the Lord. He mocks the Lord. And, you know, uh, uh, he's, uh, uh, we, um, at the live show, they brung out the, um, the wisdom of Solomon too. Like, Let's see if it's worth, like, this dude oh, yeah. don't. That's how much you don't fear. Like, mm -hmm. You really gonna test that theory? <laughs> he says, "Yep." You know, I will. Yeah. So it <laughs> says, <laughs> "Fucking asshole." Him that fear thy name, small and great, spills try to take as many people out and trying to drag down as many people as he can, man. Mm -hmm. You see, let's see his word be true, cause all that is is, uh, you know, uh, cause that's what he saw does, man. He, he used the fear of death. Against you all that to try to drag you back down with him, try to get you not to believe in the yeah. Lord anymore. That's all it is. Yeah. Yep. You know, get you not to believe and serve the Lord and and to follow his 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 ass. Mm -hmm. You know. So, but you know. What the hell was that? On oh, his squirrel. That was bugged out. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> fuck squirrel in the garbage can. But um. Yeah, um, but that's all that is, man. Um, but, um, yeah, that was him, huh? Yeah, yeah, man. Just trying to, you know, uh, control you. Yeah, you know, but it's not working anymore. That's why he's losing his marbles, man. Mm -hmm. The elect isn't um being deceived anymore. That's it. And then even a, a common person is starting to, you know, see everything. Hey, because what did the scripture say? I shall make Esau bear. Yeah. With that being said, people are catching on. To this guy's BS. Mm -hmm. So they're not falling for the same trick anymore. Yeah. All right? That's it. You know? And then, you know, that's why Esau is getting pissed off. And he, that's why he's going to come down with that wrath. Because it's getting to a point where it's like, I got to wrap this up. Yeah, yeah. Show's over with. Enough enough being, you know, nice to yeah. you people. Enough putting on, enough putting put on, on the act. Yep. Now, now let me put on a, I'm going to take off the mask, Okay. And show you who I really am. Mm -hmm. like, he, 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 like how you said it in that that, that uh, Twilight so, uh, um, Zone episode, guy guy sh showed him the horns at the at the end of the uh, uh, episode. Mm -hmm. That's what he saw is gonna do at the end of the. That's what he's uh, uh, doing. All right, he's gonna show you his, his true colors. All right, at, at this uh, season finale, so to speak. Mm -hmm. That's it. You know. See, I have five. I had found the name of the episode. I'll, I'll, I'll let you know. Yeah. I, I don't know if it's on. It was on Netflix. It might still be on there. Yeah, it's on one, I've seen it's on one of those uh, yeah, streaming yeah. platforms. Con, I actually con. think it's on a free one now. Con, like con. Tubi or something. Con. It's one of them older. That's how you know those those the best Twilight Zone. They, they remade them over the years. But the best ones, the ones came out in the 60s. Oh, yeah. The black and white ones. Um, I had some. This is um, Proverbs. Uh. 29 and 16 it says when the wicked are multiplied transgression increasing we see that man yeah. it get worse and worse about a second oh, as yeah. long as the devil's been in power man 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know? So it says, um, it says, um, when the wicked are multiplied, transgression increase, increases, but the righteous shall see their fall. Yep, beautiful, man. You and know. that's when we're going to be rejoicing. That's it. It said, our tears, it would say, our sorrow should be turned to joy. Yeah, um, this Psalms, was it 120, so 121 and 6? Uh, let me see, Psalm 121 and 6. Yeah, th those that, uh, um, that basically have sown in tears shall reap joy. I think it's one. It's a short one. Oh, uh, once I think it's one twenty six and five. Maybe it's one twenty six. One twenty six and five, I believe. Uh, yeah, they that yeah one twenty the psalm one twenty six and five. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. Yep, and right now we we're in the house of mourning, man. Mm -hmm. And eventually, hey, we're you know, we're, we're, we're you know we've been sowing in these tears. And eventually, we're gonna reap. Um, with joy, man. Mm -hmm. All right, trading places is basically coming. Yeah, yeah. You know, our hell, okay, is gonna tr you know be 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 changed to to our heaven soon, mm -hmm. and their heaven's gonna be changed into their hell very soon. That's it. All right, hey, there, bro. What is it? Revelation thirteen nine and ten. Mm -hmm. He that have an ear, let him hear. Mm -hmm. Those that are, um, how's it go? Um, oh my God, man. He he that leadeth in ca uh, oh, yeah, into yeah, captivity yeah, uh, shall shall go into captivity. He, he that, that killed it with by the sword, sword must be, be killed, killed with the sword. sword. Here's the patience, patience and faith, faith of the saints. saints. That's what's coming very mm -hmm. soon. Mm -hmm. And that's why we're going to be a, what was it that Psalms one forty nine. We're going to be rejoicing. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you know, in our beds, mm -hmm. we're going to have that two edged sword to do what? Execute vengeance mm -hmm. upon the heathen. Yep. The things that are written therein. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why we're going to be happy mm -hmm. because they will wait, hey, man. Every day is just going to be glorious. It's just going to be peaceful. You're just going to be happy. Mm -hmm. We're going to be in our right minds. Our, our people are going to be in the right minds. You know? That's it. I mean, we're, we're really going to be, uh, uh, you know, praising the Lord, man. Uh -huh. You know? I got some. This uh, Psalms 58 and 10. It says, The righteous shall rejoice when he seeth the vengeance. Mm. He shall wash the, the feet, his feet in the blood of the wicked. So that a man shall say, Verily, there is a reward for righteousness. Verily, he is a, a God that judges in the earth. Because it don't seem like it now. It seems like you prosper being wicked, man. Yeah. But, it, you know, you, you got to stay serving the Lord and doing what's right to the best of our ability. And the Lord eventually waters. This is a reward for being righteous, man. And serving the Lord, man. You know? mm -hmm. There's a war coming, you know. For uh, 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 putting off this, uh, not following the the, the multitude uh, of the wicked to do evil, and serving the Lord, man, it's a war coming. Mm -hmm. You know. So uh, yeah, I was it on that. You had anything else, brother? How was it? Did we ever finish that that Sirach? I don't think we did. The twenty-five. Twenty-five. Okay, I go to it. I don't think we. Did if I'm uh, if I could recall, okay. I think we got to the first part and then oh. <laughs> yeah, I know we mentioned about the uh, the, the children, the children yeah. and I don't think we finished the rest of it. Okay, I read it again. No, it's no problem. Okay. It's uh, Sirach, uh, Ecclesiasticus and Apocrypha, twenty five and seven. There be nine things which I have judged in my heart yep. to be happy, mm -hmm. happy. You see, cause, so you see, so we rejoice as downfall. Now it's a problem. I mean, I left a comment years ago. This devil won't respond, reply to me, telling me, yeah, man, shame on you for you being happy. Some shit he said. That boy, hey, guess what? You rejoice in our downfall. Exactly. So it's the same thing. These people are crazy. It's the same goddamn thing, man. We were getting thumbs down because we didn't want to live house to house. Right. Remember that? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. We got more thumbs down on that, on that video than thumbs up <laughs> because we, we made a lesson about living house to house and mm -hmm. how that's wicked and how that's oppre uh, oppressive. Yeah. We get thumbs down for that. Mm -hmm. These people are bugged out, man. Yeah, bugged out. Yeah, man. Hey, hey, that's why the Lord going to... It wasn't words of capital. They, they got to die. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what the Lord going to do these people. He said the day of the dead, they just should be judged, man. <laughs> Lord got judgment for you people, you spiritual dead morons, man. Yeah. You know? This is... Uh, Read it again. Sirach 25 five and 7. There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy, mm -hmm. and the tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that have joy in his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemies. Yes, sir. You know. 
And we, we rejoice in that at the, the, the things the Lord is doing to you, mm -hmm. damn devils. And you fucking heathens, man. And you two thirds too. Oh, you, yeah, you're yeah. part of the enemies. You're you're the enemies too of the Lord, oh, man. Yeah, you're on the list too. You know, you're a fucking enemy too, man. You goddamn nigga woman, all you, man. You're the enemy, man. And you're gonna take part in the judgment of the heathen because you are a heathen right now. Mm -hmm. You know, you 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 you're a part, you're, you're a part of the judgment of the heathens. Man. Yeah, they, they they came up against Jerusalem, as yeah. the scripture says that that book of Zechariah, I think, the 14th chapter. Mm -hmm. You know, and it, and it talks about the judgment of those who came up against Jerusalem, which yeah. is basically the thermonuclear missiles. Yeah. How their eyes are going to basically be disintegrated mm -hmm. and their tongues and all that. That's basically the Sarah Connor um, scripture. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, what I always bring out in that uh, Zechariah, the 13th chapter, in specific, the ninth verse, it says, uh, um, it says it talks about the, you know, first it talks about the two thirds, then it goes about, it talks about the one third, and it says that what? The one third shall uh, um, say that Yahweh. Is our power. Our power. And then the Lord Yahweh is going to say, these are my people. Yeah, yeah. So technically only, as of right now, only the one third is really the Lord's people. That's it, bro. Okay. Because that, that whole saying, first, the first chapter, two thirds of you are still in no people until the Lord. Bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you're still in no people. Only the ones that's uh, returning unto the Lord, you know, and serving him, he considers them their people right now. God. This, uh, you want to Oh, that's up to you. Okay, no, I I I bring it out what you quoted. This is uh, okay, this is Zechariah thirteen eight, and it shall come to pass that in the, all the land said the Lord, two parts there and should be cut off and die. You're gonna partake of that judgment mm -hmm. uh, of Esau and other heathen nations, you know. Uh, and I will, but the third should be left therein. Mm -hmm. So the Lord ain't gonna save a remnant, which is a small number. All right. So it says and. Well, I bring the third part through the fire and we'll find them as silver. It was fine. And he's doing that right now. We're going through the fire now, man. Yep. You know, and the, the, the fire that, that the Lord, the second death, that fire, that nuclear fire. Man. Yeah, Lord's going to physically get us out of that fire. Yeah. So it says, we'll go through it, yep. Con, and we'll find them as silver is fine. We'll try them as gold is tried. They should call on my name. Oh, shit. You got. Do you have to know the name nope. of the Lord? These mm -hmm. fucking clouds. That's how you know a false prophet telling you that you call him any old thing. You you gotta know the real na true names of Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shai, man. You have right. to know it, man. All right. Yep. So it says, uh, and they should call on my name, and I will hear them. So he ain't gonna hear you call him something, uh, another name, man. All right. Just like you, you're not gonna do that, man. Somebody mm -hmm. call you some. Somebody calling you out. That's not just something that's you know, calling you a different name. You're not gonna answer to that, man. Yep. You know. So it says, uh, "I will hear them, and I will say, it is my people, and they should say the Lord is my power." That's right. So that backs up what the brother said, man. We quoted that uh, only the elect are the Lord's people right now. You two thirds, the Lord still considers you considers you heathens. And you're gonna get a heathen judgment, man. That's what the Lord got planned for you two thirds. And you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and you speckled birds. You know. So, um, I mean, that's pretty much all I had. You know, mm -hmm. you had anything on the ground. That was it. So with that, uh, Lord was edifying to hopeful righteous elect, like give all praise and honor and glory to you. How about Shem? How about Shem? How about All right, double honors and apostles. It was a great millstone. Peace salutations to society. I'm pushing this word. How about Shem? How about Shem? Sincerity, truth, and charity. That say Shalom. Shalom.